Now any good wedding is all about the food, unless of course you're a bride and groom. And in this series we're going to look at how to make a wedding menu template in Affinity Publisher. A template that you can use time and time again. So if you're in the wedding business, or you have lots of friends who are getting married, this will come in really handy. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to set up a wedding menu template through the use of layers and paragraph styles. You'll also learn how to prepare your wedding menu template in an Affinity Publisher template that users can edit easily. Now this menu format measures 9 inches by 4 inches, which makes it easy for you and other users to print at home. Now, setting up the resources, we'll use a watercolour pink background, romance design overlays, that's the floral motifs on the right, and a font called C'est la Vie, font duo. There's two fonts in this, and that's all we need. So, download the assets and make sure the fonts are installed on your system before starting. When you see this, you might look at my website where in the download section, where hopefully I'll be able to put these things for you to download. But if not, they're easily findable. You don't want to be using the same ones I'm using because that'll look, hmm, common. So, locate your own resources, except perhaps for the font, because the font's really nice. Now, step one, the wedding menu template. Go to File and New. Name the document Wedding Menu Template and set the file to the following dimensions. The width is 4 inches. This is just a little table menu, remember. And the height to 9 inches. Orientation to portrait. Units to inches. Pages to 1. Don't forget to set that. You might have been doing something else and have 120 pages set. Well, Publisher remembers that, so remember to go and just set it to 1. You don't want 120 pages of menus. Unless, in fact, that's what you're doing. Unchecked facing pages. Margins to 0 0.5 inches and set the bleeds to 0 0.125 inches all the way around. Now you can see in the image there, if you look carefully at that, I've set it up as a preset and called it Wedding Menu Template then enabled it so next to the plus sign it says wedding menu template that's a bit of a two-step process but once you get used to it it's easy enough and you can see all the settings are in there now once you've pressed enter or create you end up with a new single page document with a single master now we're not going to use the master so you can actually um, hide that by clicking on the little triangle next to the word master pages and that will hide that otherwise it kind of gets in the way now organizing layers is an important practice when designing a template so open the layers panel on the right hand side there you can see layers character paragraph and text styles we'll start with opening layers Select page 1. Make sure page 1 is selected. Not the master page, but page 1. Add a new layer and rename it background. You know how to add a new layer. It's down the bottom of the layers panel and you simply add a new layer. Now, still on the layer panel, select new layer. Name it copy and click OK. Create another layer named Images and click OK. Set the layer tag colours. Now you can see I've got a blue, a red and a green there. I've got a background layer, a copy layer and an images layer. That's all we're using. So it's fairly straightforward. Now designing the wedding menu layer. On the layers panel, select the background layer which is the bottom of the three layers, not the master layer that's there. If you don't create a master, you won't see that master layer. You don't want to be working in that. Select the first layer that you created, the background layer. Place a picture frame rectangle that stretches right out to the bleed edges. Select File and Place. 
locate your watercolor pink background folder if you put it in a folder and select the 57 jpeg file now that's the one i've got there its title is 57 jpeg if i actually get around to putting these into a downloadable file on the on the uh, master server you'll find it there click place now the background vector there is created by hello pixel www.freepick.com and you can find that on the internet really easily. Place a picture frame rectangle, as I said, that stretches right out to the bleed edges. Now this is a diagram of what I just said, adding the background. Select File Place, locate your watercolour pink found watercolour pink backgrounds folder and select the 57 JPEG file. Place it in the picture frame. And you can see that easily enough there. It's, it's a pinkish background, but it fills the entire picture frame right out to the bleed edges. And you think, that's the bleed. It's going to be cut off. Well, that's all right. You do that because you don't want those little white edges all the way around. It's normal for the background to go right out to the bleed edges because that gives you a nice clean trim for the finished card with no ugly white borders. And you can see the layer there. There's a background layer with a picture frame and in that the 57 JPEG image. Now yours should look something similar to that. Perhaps a different name for the JPEG, but you can use anything you like in there. And of course, being a template, as you make different ones, you'll use different backgrounds. You don't want two weddings going on on the same day with the same menus, do you? Now, lock the background layer. And that's simply selecting that layer and pressing the lock. That way you can't inadvertently change it. Now select the copy layer and using the frame, that's the next one up remember, using the frame text tool create a text frame at the very top of the menu template. Well it's kind of not the very top but it's within the borders that you've set. Use the side margins to help you place the text box in the centre of the page. And of course, if you've got snapping on, you'll see the red and the green lines as you line it up into the center. Use the side margins if you can't do that. Add the text, let's dine. That looks pretty ordinary at the moment, but we're coming to that. Now, open the character panel, and on the character panel, you can see that there, that's right at the top, layers, well, halfway down. Layers, Character, Paragraph and Text Styles. I've selected the Character panel. Set the font to Sailor V Regular and the size to 40 point. Regular is the, the fancy hand lettering one. On the control bar, set the alignment to center. The control bar is up the top there. See the, the letter C of center, alignment to center? Just below that you'll see the centering um, gauge. Okay. Create a text box under the title using the frame text tool again. Here we will include the couple's name and date on two lines. On the character panel, set the font to say la vie serif and the size to 10 point. On the control bar, set the alignment to center. And here I've got Bobby Joe and Becky. 6522. And of course put whatever you like in there. It is only a template, remember, so these are marker, marker um, characters. But the names, of course, the name and the date, will change. And that's why you're making a template. Begin adding the menu. Now, create a text box under the names using the frame text tool. Here we will include the menu for the day. We will use a combination of the regular and serif family. Add the copy and let's start formatting. Now the subtitle. Add a hyphen before and after each subtitle as this will help create emphasis. Set the, set the font to say la vie regular and the size to 20 points. So appetizer, salad, main course and dessert are all say la vie and the size is 20. Now the menu items, that's what you're going to eat, Set the font to say la vie serif, <coughs> excuse me, say la vie serif and the size to 8 point. On the control bar, set the alignment to center. Now, what I did, if 
for expediency was create one text frame with all of that in. But I might add a word of caution here. You could use one, two, three, four different text frames. In fact, you could use eight different text frames to put the subtitle and the menu items, the descriptions, in separate text frames. It'll make them really easy to control later on. That's entirely up to you. It, it depends how difficult you want to make this or how detailed. Now, create a text box under the names using the frame text tool again. Include a line such as Bon Appetit. Set the font to Say La Vie Serif and the size to 10 points. On the control bar, set the alignment to center. So you're repeating a lot of stuff here. Now, head over to the Layers panel and lock the copy layer. Select the Images layer. Locate your floral image or images. We're actually going to use a couple of them, so you might need to locate them. Select the image layer, then place a picture frame in the lower left of the menu. Place the image on the bottom left corner of the menu and make sure that the image is touching the bleed marks. You don't want to be trying to position it, and when it goes out to the bleed marks, which is right at the very edge in this instance, it will trim off a little bit, so don't put text there, but it's okay to lose a little bit of the flowers. Select the image layer, then place a picture frame in the lower right of the menu, and place your second image on the bottom right corner of the menu. You could use the original image, just use one, and flip it so it's the other way around. Make sure the image is touching the bleed marks. And I used two different images there, but you could use the same one just flipped. There's no reason you can't do that. Now, once you've finished designing your menu layout, it's time to get it ready for easy customization. And in this particular menu template, we'll create paragraph styles for the content. Now, the rest of the elements, those two floral displays, are JPEG files, and that doesn't require specific formatting. So let's have a look at this. Unlock the copy layer. Text Styles panel, and we will create a number of formatting styles based on our menu design. You can see on the right on the on the panels display, the layers display, right at the very right hand side, it says Text Styles, and that's what we're going to be using. We've got Less Dine selected, and we'll select the text panels. See Text Styles there. Select and activate the text box at the top of the page. Head over to the Paragraph Styles panel, the Text Styles panel, and click on the Create New Paragraph Style button. This will create a new style based on the text you selected. Now, Affinity don't make these all that large. So you've really got to look at that. You can see the little paragraph mark with a plus sign next to it. That's a new paragraph style. And that will create a style based on the heading that you've got there. And I've renamed it Wedding Menu Title. You can see when it comes up, name the title style to Wedding Menu Title and click OK. You don't have to worry about anything else in there, just the style name and, and type Wedding Menu Title. And you can see the style settings there. The font is Say La Vie, Normal, Italic, Off, Font Width, Normal, Font Size, 40 Point etc etc so anything you do in to that font you can set it here and create a style so it's readily applicable at any time the new style appears and there it is in the list wedding you can see it about hmm, half, well, three quarters of the way down there not only at the top I should have put that red arrow pointing to it shouldn't I but down the bottom you'll see it in the say la vie font wedding menu title so if you select any font in a document and click on that, it'll turn it into the same style as the wedding menu title. So you've got wedding menu couple names, wedding menu full menu, and wedding menu caption. That's the bon appetit at the bottom.
Now we're ready for export for print. Take your time with setting those styles, particularly if you're going to use them over and over again. Now when you're happy, select export and for the print mode. Select marks and bleeds. Check all printers marks and use document bleed settings. If you're sending it to a print shop that is. If you're going to print it on your own printer, you don't need print marks and, and bleeds and things. Use document bleed settings and click export. You will have a ready to print at the print shop PDF file. Great job! you finished your wedding menu template. Now you can see there it's got the printer's marks all around it. This may come in handy even if you're going to cut it out um, on your tabletop with a cutting board and very sharp knife and make your own wedding uh, menu. Maybe you've only got two guests so it's hardly worth taking it to a print shop. <laughs> so in this tutorial we learned how to make a wedding menu template in Affinity Publisher. We covered key tools that will help you create a ready-to-edit menu design. Today we learned to set up a ready-to-print publisher menu template, organize and create different layers, and use paragraph styles to create a template, and to export a PDF file for printing. If you're printing it yourself, you obviously don't have to set printer marks and things like that. Experiment with that. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe, give a thumbs up and tap the bell for reminders. I really appreciate it.